Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to make some avocado toast with salmon. We're going to use garlic and pepper and garlic salt. We're going to use this red onion here, a few sliced, a few diced. The same with tomatoes. That is two Roman tomatoes there. Some cilantro. I've got two avocados in there, just kind of sliced up. We're going to mush them up together. Of course, the butter bread. I've showed you this before. We're going to use a little bit of butter. And this is the salmon that I got here. I got this from Costco's. You got dill on the left. In the middle, you got traditional. And then on the right-hand side, you got pepper. All right? Absolutely, this stuff is delicious. My kids eat this on crackers. But anyway, so here's your shot of everything we're going to use to make this absolutely amazing breakfast, brunch, or dinner. Let's get cooking. All right, the first thing we're going to do is with these avocados that I've already cut up, I had them sitting in lime juice, so I used a whole lime for that. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on in there. I'm going to put in those diced tomatoes. Why am I putting in the diced tomatoes before I mush it? Jesus only knows. Real kitchen, real people. I say it all the time. The first thing we need to do is mush up these avocados. That's the first thing that she needs to do. I'll be right back. Let me grab a paper towel. All right, I've absolutely showed you this before. I'm just going to go ahead and use this and mix it up, and those tomatoes will just be mixed in with it. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, I've used my emerging blender. That's what we've got, as you can see there. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a tablespoon of garlic in here. And you can make your avocado, your guacamole rather, any way you want to. There is no wrong way to do it. It's however you like it, okay? Feel free to do what you want, how you want, okay? This is how I make mine. We're going to go ahead and put in that tomato. I'm going to go ahead and go in with those onions. And you can put jalapenos in here, but I don't want jalapenos in mine, okay? And then we're going to go in with that cilantro. And then I'm just going to mix that all up. Yum, 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 and yum. And like I said, there is no wrong way to make this. You make it however you feel comfortable and whatever you prefer, all right? I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of garlic salt. I'm also going to go in, i to get some garlic off my hand, with about a tablespoon of pepper. And mix that up. And my guacamole is done, all right? Guacamole is yum, 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 okay? So now we're going to put that in the refrigerator, and I'm going to go into the next step. I'll be right back. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and toast this bread. I'm going to put um, some butter on there, and I'm going to toast it one slice at a time, and then I'll go ahead and let you see what I'm doing. I'm going to do butter on both sides of this bread, and then I'm going to put it in the skillet and let it toast up. You can absolutely put this in the toaster. But I like that little extra buttery that I get from my skillet and from the butter. Okay? I just think it just does a little something extra for it. Plus, it toasts a little bit more evenly. All right? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn you over to the skillet so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm just going to put that baby on in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some butter on her while she's in there doing her thing. And I'm going to do it twice. So I'm going to show you this one. It just only needs a couple of minutes on a medium heat, depending on your stove. All right. I'm going to try to get as much butter on every corner all the way around so that it'll give me that nice toasty taste. All right. And I do prefer the butter bread, but you can use any bread you want with this. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. All right. We've got one side down. The other side's almost done. All right. This is the brownness that you're looking for. I'll be back. All right, we've got our toast all done. So we're going to go in with the avocado that we made. I mean, guacamole that we made on the bottom. Look at those colors. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Be generous. Put as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay. Absolutely delicious. And my daughter loves guacamole. 
So this would be one for her, one for another member. We'll see who's going to eat that one. All right. Just put it on there, put a nice little amount. Okay. See that? Absolutely amazing. Delicious. And we just did that. Yes, we did. We absolutely just did that. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some tomatoes on here. Got another one. Might as well just use that one. Put those tomatoes on there. We're going to go in with some of those onions. And anything you see on here that is not something that you like, don't put it on there. Okay? This is just another way that, like I always say, there's a million ways to make one item. There is a million ways to do it. A million ways. All right, and she likes all three of the different flavors. So I'm just going to put all three flavors on here for her. And this is some really good salmon. If you ever see it when you're out in Costco's or Sam's, grab it. I mean, it goes great with crackers. My family eats them with crackers. They eat this every time I bring it in the house. It doesn't last long. Trust me, it does not last long. You can add as much or as little as you want. And I, like I said, this is absolutely delicious. And there you go. There you have it. Gigi's version of avocado toast with smoked salmon. All right. I'm going to give her her close up and I'll be right back. And there she is. I sliced one open so you could see the inside. Things made easy with Gigi. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, all right? Everybody be blessed and stay safe. You'll see Gigi next time. Take care, you guys.